Stage Poop, you're learning so many things. It's not just about music and art. But you do get introduced to the very basics of the music and the art concepts. Loud and soft, up and down, color mixing, textures, all that. But you also are learning in, in such a social environment that you're learning how to cooperate, how to share things, how to wait your turn, how to express yourself. It crosses over in the learning. Music and art help all the academics across the board. In music and art, fine motor skills are developed by working with their bodies. They learn to make beats, keep a steady rhythm, grasp things with both hands. Children learn to control and get strength in their hands. Experimenting with tools and sound brings the um, learning into their bodies. So it isn't just an oral training they're getting, but works toward their kinesthetic learning, which when they start elementary school, they're a little bit closer to being ready to write and read. And the advantage of not having to do the art in your house is that you can get as messy as you want, the kids can be as creative as they want, and you don't have to clean up the mess. You can go home and the children at this age need to be expressive, they need to be messy. Well for them it's a way, it's a part of socialization because it's a class and uh, to teach them to be creative and interact and uh, to not be upset when they get paint on their hands. I think it's great just, you know, to have this time to, you know, bond with your with your child and and have, you know, you only get this time once, so um, it's, it's, a, it's a good time to have and, and, it, and uh, she has a lot of fun with it. Even though art is process oriented, they do have a product that they bring home that they can talk about and communicate about. And in that sense, they're, they're developing language skills, they're developing new vocabulary, and they're sharing what they've done in the schools at home. There's two criteria when I'm looking for teachers. One is that they are um, musically or artistically inclined or trained. The other is, but what is most important is that they have early childhood education behind them because this age group is a very special age group. My philosophy is that children should have fun. I love the mixed age groups. I think that that is something that is, is not as valued as it should be. The younger children learn from older children, of course, but the older children also learn from the younger children, and that's something that I really think is wonderful. And starting at this age, it's it's the right, right age to start at, so they're getting ready for their next step.